Hello everybody, praise God, I believe you're doing great and I'm so happy to come to your screen once again. Happy new month, it's a new month, it's the very first a Sunday of the month and I'm so glad to be able to still teach about the unshakable faith. Let me tell you something, nothing better than having this moment of learning and being able to talk about the Word of God, especially in the midst of the challenge that we are facing. I believe that if this is something that we need to do and we have to keep practicing every day, keep praying and keep talking about the Word of God, which is a good thing that will keep us, um, will keep our faith up and also will keep us uh, safe spiritually, even in emotionally, uh, to be able just to to survive and thrive in this situation up to the point that we'll be able to have a normal life which we used to, 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 to have before. Let me tell you something. God is so good and that's what we are learning about His Word. All we need to know is to have faith about him, have faith in everything that we are doing, that God will make a way. Even in the midst of the challenge of your life, of your marriage, or anything that you think that is hard, when you understand how to have uncheckable faith, surely you will be able uh, to, 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 to know how to deal with any kind of circumstance that you are facing. But before I go so far, let me pray so that I can get more straight to the Word of God, okay? Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you for my friend who just decided to tune in in our service. I thank you even for myself too, because I'm ready now to be used by you. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will lead us and show us a way and give us knowledge to be able to understand everything that I'll be saying in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I need to just be used as a vehicle that will change and transform the, the mindset and the uh, knowledges of your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you take over so that we can learn together and we can be better in our faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we do pray, believing and trust. Everybody say, Amen. <laughs> All right, see, last two Sundays, we started on the very first Sunday, uh, we started to talk about uh, we started to talk about the unshakable faith. We set the foundation uh, that what is faith, and then we talk about unshakable. What is the meaning of unshakable? And we say that unshakable is like a strong thing, right? And when we get a definition of of faith, so we connected that it's a strong faith. It's a strong dash dash dash, and I'll give you the definition. I will remind you about the faith. So we talked about it, we set the foundation, and the second Sunday we also discussed more and more. But let me remind you for those who never got a chance of understanding the true definition of a faith, especially in this series when we started, we, uh, we went to the book of Hebrew 11. We learn and read the book of Hebrew 11. Verse 1 to 12. I'll just read the very first verses there, uh, whereby it say that, Now faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand that the world were framed by the word of God, and so that, that, so that the things which are seen were not made for the things which are visible. So that is a very good definition of faith, that faith um, is a substance of the things that hoped for. So when you say you have unshakable faith, it means that you have a strong belief about something that it is not seen. And then on the second Sunday, oh, we'll, learn, we, we'll learn about having powerful or strong reasons or a bigger why which helps you okay which helps you to have a good faith or to have unshakable faith you need to have a reason that will help you to believe in something and we say for instance we ask God about having a family 
and you need to have a strong reason of why do you need to have a family so that it can help you when you kneel down and talk to God it will help you to remember those reasons to help you to say okay God I need a family because A B C D so strong reasons may help you or will help you to have a strong faith and when we talked about it we uh, look at the story of David and Goliath and uh, if you remember we read about uh, we read in 1st Samuel 17 45 to 47 and it, that shows us why David wanted to fight with Goliath. Why David, he decided to go front to fight for his country. And when you read that on the first Samuel 17, 45 to 47, it says that then David said to the Philistine, which is Goliath, uh, you come to me with a sword, a spear, or javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of the hosts. Okay? He's trying to, to build a case. Okay? The God of armies of Israel, whom you have taunted, okay? This day, listen, this day the Lord will hand you over to me and I will strike you down and cut off your head. This is David talking to Goliath. And I will give the corpses of the arm of the Philistines this day to the birds of the sky and the wild beasts. Of the earth okay so that that's the point why he wanted to, to do all these things he wanted to do this because so that all the earth may know that there is God in Israel okay and that this entire assembly may know that the Lord uh, does not save with the sword or with the spear for the battle is the Lord's okay and he will hand you over to us. So David was making the point, was trying to set the point, was trying to build the case that he wanted to do this so that people, they may know that in Israel, there is God and they are saving the right God, okay? And that is why as a result, you come to realize that David, you come to see that David, he, he won the battle because he had a good reason and even to God, I believe he saw, okay, this guy, he don't want to do this because he wants to be famous. He don't want to do this because he want to uh, gain money. No, he just want to do it for my own glory. So we say for us as Christians, when we need to have unshakable faith, or when we do practice having unshakable faith, we need to have a strong reasons that goes with the God words, which will help us to be able to believe him more and encourage us more, and also will help us uh, to, to have a good position to God. God, when he see those reasons, he'll be like, okay, this is a good reason, so he might, he might help us, okay? So that is where we were, like we started on the setting foundation up to the uh, story of David and Goliath as we talked about having a bigger why. Why do you need a miracle? Why do you need a family, a business? Why do you trust God with the, with the ministry? Why do you trust God with having your own house? Okay, so today now, take your pen and paper let me tell you something today we are going to learn a little bit more about when and where can you apply this unshakable faith okay when and where are you going to be able to apply the unshakable faith and I want you to go to the book of Matthew 17 20 that is where we will build our case about when and where can you apply the unshakable faith? He replied, who? Jesus. Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. I will repeat. Because you have so little faith, okay? Truly, I tell you, if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. 
And that is a very strong statement. Nothing will have, a, nothing will be impossible to you. Nothing. So long as you have a small faith as a mustard seed. So when we are about to finish the uh, to, to, to class seven, uh, we normally choose the school which we want to go to secondary school, okay? So I happen to have my own choice of school that I want to uh, go after I finish my education. And my teacher, she was there. I told madam, I want to write as a near, which was my choice. I loved it. I know it's a special school. Smart kids go there. So I told her, hey, I want to write as a near. It's my first selection. She was like, no, Gada, don't do that. I told, I asked her why. She said, because we're not smart enough. Simple. You just write other things. I mean, other schools, and you will have an assurance that you will go to those schools. Don't lose this chance uh, by writing the the school that you don't um, you don't qualify. Okay, so I'm trying to relate my story and this Bible verse by what I told my my, my teacher or I told my uh, the, the lady who she was there that hey, even if you think whatever. Uh, like you think I don't deserve to go there, I still want to put the Azania secondary school there because I know my God who I serve, he can give me anything I want. And I know I can go to any school, including this one, which I need to choose as a first selection of my choices, okay? So I put it as a near down. I write it as a near, and then I write another school and another school. You are supposed to choose like three schools. So when I put as a near, at the end of the uh, test and um, the result came out, boom, I went to Azania. And that takes me now back to the uh, the Bible verse which say the Matthew 2, uh, 17, 20, nothing will be impossible for you so long as you have a small faith like a master seed. And so many stories that I have in my life which I can tell that I, were, I got the opportunity, not because I was so good in something, and not because I, ha I had a, a good education, or not because I, I had a good channels, or I was qualified. No, so many things happening in my life just because I have faith. People who are staying close to me or who are close to me, they will tell you that I'm, I, I can't say I'm lucky, but I say I'm loved because it just just have faith and God loves me, give me the opportunities, okay? So this is something that we have to practice. This is something that we have to know when we talk about the unshakable faith. And you may ask me now, yes, when we have a strong reasons, it will help us to believe God and to have a strong faith in anything that we want. As a result, we'll be able to achieve those things that we want. But why? I mean, when and where can we be able to apply all these things? And I will give you the answer right now. You can go if you want to go after this. <laughs> okay, the answer is, when and where can you be able to apply the unshakable faith? It's anytime, anywhere, any place, in any kind of situation. Whether you are rich or you are poor, all you need to have is to be strong in faith. Whether you are happy or you are sad, whether you, you are sick or you, you are healthier, or whether you have money, whether you don't have, all you need is to have faith every time, everywhere. Because faith, it will help you to give you confidence to do the right decisions. When you are in trouble, the only thing that will give you uh, an ability of being able to achieve whatever you want to achieve, especially to get out of that trouble, you need to just have faith. Faith will be so helpful to you. Okay? So, it doesn't matter. And most of the time as people, we, tr we trust God and we believe in God when things are okay. See, you have money. You're like, oh, thank you, God. Even when you pray, you can feel the Holy Spirit. <laughs> oh, you know, because you have money. But most of the time, when you don't have money, you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What did I do wrong? I don't know. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. And you start to complain to yourself. As a result, you start to lose faith. Okay? But I want to encourage you today that you need to have faith every time, everywhere, in any condition, 
And not only just faith, unshakable faith. That nothing will move you from what you believe. Whether you are in a bed or you are okay, you have to believe that God, He is your provider. He is your healer. God, He is the King of kings who take control of your life. And this is something that we have to remind ourselves as Christians because we call ourselves Christians because we follow Christ. This is not a religion. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, something that we, we just choose by ourselves. When you were born again, you just chose to follow Christ. And following Christ is also to believe in Him, that He is your provider. He is your Father. He knows you. He knows the situation that you're, face, you're facing. He knows the uh, ups and downs that you're facing. He knows that you need a baby. He knows that you need a family. He knows that. You need to know that, you know, you need to know that God, he knows that you need money. It's not that he can't he can see, he can see. All he needs from you is just to trust him and to believe in him. When you go to work, you go to work with the faith that you'll be able to do your work, do your part, and then he can provide for you. And when you get the money, you have to also believe that he will make a way in whereby you'll be able to save and have money. The same in different cases. God knows that you, you are struggling in your relationship. He knows that. Oh, he knows that you, you, you can't get somebody who is serious enough to marry you. God knows that. But all he needs from you is to just to have a small faith like the master said. Nothing will be impossible to you. He didn't say some things will be impossible. Nothing will be impossible to you just because you believe in him. And I want to encourage you today that we need to trust God. We need to believe in God. We need to know that we know that God can do anything, anytime, anywhere. And we, us as people, we have to believe him anywhere, anytime. Especially right now when we have COVID-19, I see so many people there kind of down. And sometimes, even me, sometimes I feel like something is wrong. Maybe we did something wrong to God. Or maybe I'm not okay, you know. You start to think about bills. You start to think about how the future will be. But let me, let, let me assure you something. Whatever life will be, but God, he will still be the king. God, he will still be the provider. God, he will still control our life. He is the one who taking care of us even when we are in our mother's wombs. So he know what we need. He know uh, what kind of life we will live after COVID-19. All you have to do is to believe in him. Don't allow the circumstances to change your faith. Don't allow the circumstances or the issue that you're facing right now to change or to determine your future. Yes, it is true that right now you, you're not okay. But the future is better. You have to believe that. You have to know that God will give and provide everything that you need in your future. If, it is your prayer, if your prayer is to be able to start your own business, let me tell you something. You will own not one business, couple businesses. So long as you believe in Him. Every, every time, everywhere. So long as you believe in God, every time, everywhere, He can provide to you the house that you want. He can provide to you the, I mean, the money which will help you to buy the house or to build the house. He can provide. He is the provider. But it starts with you. It starts with you to trust Him. It starts start with you to believe in Him. To know that there is a somebody out there who is more powerful. The Bible says he is the king of kings. He lives in heaven and his feet are down on the, uh, on the earth. He is so good. 
He cared about that. The Bible say he he cared about that. That's why he wrote a, a, he tattooed our names on the, his hand. He even compare us like a up of his eyes to show how much he loves us. God loves you. You just need to trust him. You need to believe in him without caring any condition that you have. You have to believe in him. You need to have a strong faith. Even when you are down, don't trust God because things are okay. Don't trust God just because you are able now to get your degree. Don't trust God because he answered your, 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 your that you answered the prayer that you had about having a, a business. Trust God when you're poor. Trust God also when you don't have kids and the doctors tell you you can't have kids. This is a very good time now to trust God when things are not okay. Okay? You have to believe. See, when we read the Bible, we see so many people these people are there on the Bible because they did something big. And when you go down, you'll be able to understand they had faith. This week I was reading about Daniel. Daniel was the very best person of his time. He knew how to translate dreams. He was so wise. He was so wise to the point even kings decided to give him leadership and to be on top of the wise men of Israel by then. But when you think about his life, when you remember different stories, like the one he was with lions, you come to realize this guy, he had a faith. And he, he, have, he had unshakable faith. Remember his story? The Bible says, People, they, they couldn't be able to find any mistake from him. And they were so jealous that he got the opportunities more than anybody. Uh, kings loved, loved him and all that. So they decided to talk to king and tell him to have this law that will uh, need for 30 days everyone to worship the God of king. So they made a God and they needed uh, everyone to worship him, that God. And Daniel, he couldn't be able to do that. He wasn't ready to do that because he had unshakable faith with Jehovah. He knew the God who he served. So he said, whatever you say, it's okay, but I will stick with what I believe. And this is what we need to do. It doesn't matter who trying to tell you something. It doesn't matter how many people are trying to find a way of confusing you. You need to believe in God. And you need to be ready even with, to face the challenge that will come after being able to practice the unshakable faith. As a result, we find David, I mean, we find Daniel on, on, on top of the lion. But he was able to survive. He was be able to not be touched with the lion just because he had faith. Even when he was talking to, to kings, you can tell this guy he, he believed in himself. Sometime the king was telling him, okay, help me to translate this and then I will give you uh, money, I will give you uh, gold, I'll give you uh, whatever. He said, you can keep those gifts. Because he, himself, he knew the God who he served and he was, you, you, you can't change him. He was unchangeable. He was unshakable on anything that he believed. Whether you like it or not, this is the truth. Okay, bye, I'm gone. This is the, trans the translations of the dream that you dreamt. I'm gone. And that is how we should be. Okay? Even when you think about his friends. Because Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were on the same time. In fact, Daniel, he, he recommended Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come and be leaders on, on, on their regions, okay, to the king because he was close to king. They were also unshakable. They believed that they are serving the right God. Since they were young, they, 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 they were practicing that theory 
that, hey, we cannot eat the food of the king. We are Jews, we can't eat, we just eat vegetables and water. Try us, try us, they were telling the servant, try us. Try this food for us right now. For one week and you see if we will nourish. And the Bible say they, they were so different. They were looking so good more than other people just because they, they stick on the food that they wanted. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to practice. We have to believe that we are Christians and we believe in Christ and God who we serve he can do anything in our life. And, when, and even when he doesn't do what we need in exactly time, we still need to believe in him. That's what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego told the, the king. That yes, you are throwing out of the fire. God will help us. And even when he will not help us, still we will stick believing in him. That's what we call a shake-up faith. And my question to you right now, are you ready to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Are you ready to be like Daniel? Are you ready to be like King David? Are you ready? Are you ready to just go with a stone and to fight with the giant? And that tells you, listen, that tells you in this life of faith, it tells you that you don't need big stuff to be able to do bigger things. That is why David was able to kill the giant with a small stone. Okay? And Matthew 17, 20 tells us that when you have a small faith, like a mustard seed, you'll be able to do everything. Nothing will be impossible. All you need is to have that small inner thing that tells you that there is God and He is able of doing anything in my life. We call Him a healer because there is a time that we will be sick. So when we are sick, or we will not be confused. All we need to believe is we have healer. We call Him a provider because there is a time that we will need God to supply for us. We'll get in trouble, we'll, we'll be in need. So when we are in need of food and money and uh, all these things that we need, all we have to do is to believe and remember in our faith that we have God who is a provider. We call him a protector because there's a time that the devil will try to touch us. Oh, there is a time we might find ourselves in accidents, in the fire, in anything that will happen in the world. While you are in the accident, you have to remember in the middle of those pains that, by the way, I have the God who is the protector. He can protect me or he can return my life back. Okay? So that is how you have to do and that is why we read and we learn all these things so that we can have the unshakable faith. I told you last Sunday that don't allow anybody to change what you believe. Not only the circumstances. You have to be bold enough to say, this is what I believe and I will do it. And people, they have these standards. They may try you for the first time. They may try you for the second time. And later on, they keep on their mind that this guy, when he believes something, is like this, it's just like that. And they will respect you. The Bible says, let your yes be yes, let your no be no. And why you'll be able to do that? Because you have unshakable faith. So when you say, I want to start a business, just go and do it. When you need to, to go back to school, just go and do it and believe that God, he will help you to be able to get that degree, to be able to achieve that goal. Because we have God, because we have Father who taking care of us. 
The Bible says, even our hair cannot go down from our head without God to allow it. Okay? So everything that's happening in our life, God knows. All you have to do is to just trust Him. Have faith. Don't let anything change you. Anytime, anywhere, believe in God. And why you have to believe God? First of all, He is our Creator. And He is our God. He, he was here in the world even before we get here. So you have to just believe Him and knowing that everything will be fine. To conclude, I would I'd like to tell you that everything will be fine. It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what challenge you, 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 you have now. Everything will be fine. Believe it. If you have a challenge in your marriage, God will do a way that which will help you to be able to have a peaceful marriage. God will have a way of making sure that your husband changes your wife change and have the good relationship. If you need a baby, my Bible shows me that God, he know how to twist those things in the woman womb or in your body to make sure that you can be able to conceive. And my Bible shows me that even when you are 90, you can get a baby. So it doesn't matter how old are you, Sarah got the baby when she was 90. God have a way of doing miracles in our life. But all he needs from us is to have unshakable faith. The faith that will not be shaken with any situation. The faith that will not be shaken with any circumstance. The faith that will not be shaken with any condition. The faith that trust him, know his word, someone know his word, someone trust him, that is what God needs. And I know that someone is you. Okay? I know. The reason that you're following this series is because you want to gain something. It's because you believe in Christ. The reason that you are watching this sermon up to this time is because you want to gain this knowledge of having unshakable faith. All you need is a small faith, like a master seed. You can be able to move the mountains. You can be able to do anything. Believe we have a bigger God. Believe he can change everything. And even when we think about COVID-19, God will make a way. God will give us a beautiful life after this. I normally don't like to say, please God help us so that we can have our normal life back. No, because normal wasn't working. Okay? While we, we say it's normal, still people they were killed each other, uh, people they were struggling with other, other things. But I want God to do something to your life and my life. After this COVID-19, I want God to help us to have a beautiful life. Remember when you read the Bible, God said, He made trees, He made the ocean, and He saw it was beautiful. So I would like God to take us in this situation, after this, to be able to go back to the very first vision of the world, which was beautiful. And you will not get there if you don't have faith. When you have unshakable faith, you will start to see life in different lanes after this. Some people will keep complaining for 10 years. You know, I couldn't start my business because of COVID. And some people, they will use this moment to be rich. They will use this moment to buy a house. They will use this moment to sit down with their family and starting to digest the ideas and the plans that they have for their families because of COVID-19. And those people are the ones with the unshakable faith. They are not shaken with this pandemic. 
and it is you that is why you're watching me. Okay? Be that passion that have a faith. Be that passion that trusts God in any condition, everywhere, every time. Trust God. He can help you even to go and uh, have a farm, do whatever, plant anything. Trust God. He can be able to help you in a business or in the, your farm. Trust God. He can help you in your uh, insurance company. Trust God. He can do everything. And surely He will do in your life. Remember the meaning of faith. Faith is the hope or the ability of seeing unseen stuff, invisible stuff. If you will be, if you'll be able to just visualize those things inside of you and try to see them happening in your life even before, that is what we call faith. So believe God and he will do something good in your life. Keep that unshakable faith in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will bless you more. I pray that God will help you to be able to grow spiritually, to grow in your faith, and to grow even for what you think and what you say every time. God will help you, and you will be blessed and successful in every area of your life. Just because you have the unshakable faith. Let me pray for you. Father God, I pray that you bless my friends. I pray that you protect them. Continue to provide for them. Continue to show them the way of growing spiritually. Continue to teach them. Let them take yes to this message. I pray that you bless their businesses. You bless their life. You bless their thoughts. You bless their marriages. You bless their kids. And you help us to be able to get out of this situation that we have the challenge that we have of COVID-19 and continue living a beautiful life that you trusted us with. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless everybody's week that from tomorrow, Monday, they will have a beautiful week. They will have a beautiful seven days of blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do pray, believing in trust. Amen. May God bless you so much. May God continue to protect you. And may God open the doors for you that will change uh, your life and will bless you in so many ways. God bless you so much and I love you. Use this time with your family. We are about to go outside. 